What's going on guys? Dubs back with another video game guide. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Dungeonborn and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the legendary heirlooms inside the game. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the first heirloom we're going to take a look at getting is the Divine Crown and its Fragment. The Divine Crown Fragment can be found on the Sinner's End map in the northernmost module. When my team and I ended up going for the Crown Fragment ourselves, we ended up spawning in the southeastern module on the complete opposite end of the map from the Crown Fragment, so we had quite a walk to get there. I ended up using my invisibility to sprint through the map as fast as possible, opening up the doors for my team, and just running as fast as we could north to get to the Crown Fragment itself to make sure nobody else could beat us there, because only one person can get it per game. Be careful as you're entering the room, there are a couple small mobs, some goblins and bugs. Also watch out for the trap door in the corner of the room. A team can hide under there and just bust out and ambush you as you're trying to get the crown fragment. Alright, and for our next heirloom, we're going to take a look at the moon pendant fragment. This is probably the easiest heirloom to get as you only have to wait for the full moon to happen. Um, you will enter the training room once the full moon is active, as you can see in the background right now. And once inside the training room, you're just going to walk all the way to the altar. You're going to look at the eye of the gods looking down at you with this moon pupil as you pray at the statue. And once you've finished praying at the statue, the boom, the pendant will just appear right in front of you. And you're good to go. You can just exit the lobby, head back, and go ahead and craft that heirloom. All right, and moving on to our final heirloom, the Divine Sword Fragment. The Divine Sword can be found in the southernmost module of the Sinner's End map. The heirloom is locked inside of the floral chest. In order to open up the floral chest, you'll need to have the Divine Crown as well as the Moon Pendant equipped. Both of these items will be destroyed upon opening up the chest. If you're trying to get this heirloom around the time of the full moon, it will be much more difficult. A lot of people will already have the crown as well as the moon pendant, and a lot of people are just going to be going to get the sword fragment as soon as they get the necklace. So if you're trying to do it around a full moon, it'll probably be a lot busier, a little bit more difficult, and you'll come across a lot more people in this room. And that's all the legendary heirlooms there are in the game currently. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please drop it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. We stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, as well as LAN party streams on Thursday. And we do D&D streams on Sundays, so go ahead and check us out on Twitch and on YouTube. As always, I'm W, and I'll see you next time. Game on, my friends.